Good evening, this is Jan. Here in my kitchen I'm going to be making sashimi. That is the Japanese culinary art of slicing fresh raw seafood and fish and creating a perfect dish full of fresh flavors. So that's what I'm going to do. This is going to be salmon and tuna sashimi. Here I got the salmon, which is about 150 gram, and here's the tuna, which is also about 150 grams. So that is 300 grams in total, which must be quite enough to make a nice sashimi. By the way, salmon and tuna both are the most suitable fish for the sashimi because got beautiful flavors when eaten raw. So I'm gonna start with the salmon. Try to make even cuts, even slices. Run my knife through very easily. Then over to the tuna. I'm gonna prepare a couple of vegetables as well. First up it's cucumber. So with a vegetable peeler like this, you can slice the vegetables very thinly. Same goes for radish. I don't have the daikon radish available, that's the, the real Asian, native to Asia radish, but I'm using just like European radish, which is quite similar in flavor. I'm going to build a plate of sashimi. So what I'm going to do is just place the salmon on one side, the tuna on the other side and then I got pickled ginger which is of course very Japanese you see that in all Japanese restaurants everywhere in the world. It's a very nice in flavor. I like it very much. So I'm going to place this at the edges. My sliced radish. Kind of like more in the center. It's nice for the colors. Cucumber, which has quite a different color, it's more green, so that goes in the middle. Of course, it's not only about the cars, it's about the flavors as well. Like cucumber is fresh, radish has a pungent flavor, so that all goes well with the sashimi. Well, this looks 
quite okay already then I sliced some scallions I'm gonna just put some of them a little bit around also for presentation and for flavor because scallions have a unique flavor plus as a dipping sauce here I got ponzu a very traditional Japanese sauce this is in fact a blend of soy sauce rice vinegar rice wine and lots of citrus fruit like lemon or lime or yuzu to make everything more fresh I'm gonna pour some of this in a small bowl I'm gonna try this first plane Now that is nice salmon, very smooth, very mild. I want some freshness, so I'm gonna dip it in the ponzu sauce. Mm. Yeah, it's that sweet soy sauce flavor. In combination with the acidity of the citrus and lemon. And that ginger, that works. Some radish, some cucumber. Nice flavors. And the tuna, also first plane as well. Tuna, as you guys know, of course, like I know this, tuna is like a very meaty fish. It's a fish with a bite. Especially when you eat it raw, like sashimi. I love it. A little bit of sauce. And with some radish. This stuff is real, this is fresh. I'm a big fan of real food, you know, real raw, fresh, everything. You don't need any spice, no black pepper, no cayenne pepper, because you get the ginger. Plus the scallions give some pungent flavor radish as well. I'm a big fan of tuna. I love tuna more than salmon. Because of its meaty character. Mm. That punch of sauce is nice. Yet, I'm also a fan of salmon, of course. That's what I wanted to make the combination. I love the, the fattiness, the creaminess, kind of like 
from the salmon. And then with the more meatiness, the more earthiness, you could say, of tuna. Yes, that sauce. Mm. Punch the sauce is a combination of the soy sauce and the lime, the lemon. I want to thank you for watching this video. I see you in the next one. And remember, keep enjoying your food like I do.